Epistemic Innocence and Gaslighting, Exploring a Rational Belief's Complex Role. Welcome to Information for Life, Insights and Ideas to Navigate Your World, the podcast where we explore fascinating ideas and concepts to help you understand the complexities of our world. I'm your host, Daniel Boyd. Today, we'll dive deep into an intriguing philosophical concept called epistemic innocence, introduced by Professor Lisa Bordelotti and its potential connection to the manipulative behavior known as gaslighting. Let's get started. So what is epistemic innocence? In simple terms, it's the idea that certain beliefs, even if they are false or rational, can positively affect our cognitive and emotional lives. These beliefs can be considered innocent within specific contexts, despite not being based on solid evidence or reasoning. According to Bordelotti, there are two conditions a belief must meet to be considered epistemically innocent. First, it must provide significant epistemic benefits that would be difficult or impossible to achieve through alternative, more accurate beliefs. These benefits include emotional resilience, mental stability, or a better ability to achieve goals. Second, the person holding the belief cannot access a less epistemically problematic alternative that could deliver the same benefits. Let's consider an example to clarify this concept. Imagine a terminally ill patient who holds the irrational belief that they will recover despite overwhelming medical evidence to the contrary. This belief might be considered epistemically innocent if it helps the patient maintain hope, reduce anxiety, and engage in meaningful activities in the time they have left, especially if there is no alternative belief that will provide the same benefits. The concept of epistemic innocence challenges the assumption that false or irrational beliefs are always harmful and suggests that sometimes they can play a positive role in our cognitive and emotional lives. So, how does epistemic innocence relate to gaslighting? Gaslighting is a manipulative tactic where someone intentionally tries to make another person question their perceptions, memories, or beliefs. In some cases, gaslighting can lead to the victim holding irrational beliefs due to the manipulator's deception. Despite being irrational, these beliefs might be considered epistemically innocent if they provide a psychological benefit to the victim, such as helping them cope with the situation. However, it's important to note that the presence of epistemic innocence doesn't justify gaslighting or make it morally acceptable. Gaslighting is inherently harmful, as it seeks to undermine an individual's confidence in their perceptions and understanding. The fact that some irrational beliefs resulting from gaslighting might have epistemic benefits does not negate the harm caused by the manipulation. In summary, epistemic innocence could be related to gaslighting in cases where the victim's irrational beliefs provide some form of psychological benefit. However, this connection should not be taken as an endorsement or justification of gaslighting, which is inherently manipulative and harmful. Epistemic innocence is a complex and nuanced concept that offers valuable insights into the nature of belief, rationality, and the mind. While it's essential to recognize that irrational beliefs can sometimes serve a useful purpose, we must also be cautious not to use the concept of epistemic innocence to justify manipulative and harmful behaviors such as gaslighting. To further understand epistemic innocence's potential benefits and drawbacks, we must also consider the societal implications of embracing the concept. On the one hand, acknowledging that some irrational beliefs can have positive effects may lead to a more empathetic and understanding society where we respect people's coping mechanisms under challenging situations. On the other hand, a widespread acceptance of epistemic innocence might make it easier for manipulative individuals to exploit the concept, justifying their harmful actions under the guise of providing supposed benefits. So, how can we navigate the delicate balance between recognizing the potential benefits of epistemic innocence while also being vigilant against the possible misuse of the concept? One approach could be promoting critical thinking and emotional resilience, empowering individuals to discern the difference between genuinely helpful, irrational beliefs and those that are merely manipulative. Another approach is cultivating a culture of open communication and support, where people feel comfortable discussing their beliefs and reasons. By fostering an environment that encourages introspection and dialogue, we can help individuals better understand their thought processes and identify potential instances of manipulation or self-deceit. Ultimately, epistemic innocence offers a fascinating and valuable perspective on the nature of belief and the human mind. By considering irrational belief's potential benefits and drawbacks, we can develop a more nuanced understanding of the complexities of human cognition and emotion. 
However, we must remain vigilant against the misuse of this concept and prioritize the cultivation of critical thinking, emotional resilience, and open communication. That wraps up our exploration of epistemic innocence and its potential connection to gaslighting. Thank you for joining us on Information for Life, Insights and Ideas to Navigate Your World. We hope you found today's discussion thought-provoking and enlightening. As always, we encourage you to explore further, ask questions, and engage in open conversations about these complex and fascinating topics. Join us next time as we delve into another intriguing subject. Until then, stay curious and keep learning. In this podcast episode, the primary source of information is based on the work of Lisa Bordelotti, who introduced the concept of epistemic innocence. For those interested in further reading, here are some relevant sources. Bordelotti, L., 2015, Epistemic Benefits of Exclusive Beliefs, Philosophical Quarterly. Bordelotti, L., and Sullivan Bissett, E., 2018, The Epistemic Innocence of Clinical Memory Distortions, Mind and Language. In addition to Lisa Bordelotti's work, other academic sources and general information on gaslighting were used to create this podcast episode. Here are some additional sources for further reading on gaslighting. Stern, R., 2018, The Gaslight Effect, How to Spot and Survive the Hidden Manipulation Others Use to Control Your Life, Harmony Books. Sutherland, S., Irrationality, The Enemy Within, Printer and Martin Publishers. Thank you.